hi everyone we are going to get some messages from your person so think and visualize your person and i am going to receive messages from them in the form of tarot and message cards and before i start i just wanted to mention if you wanted to win a free reading with me check out the description box below since i do giveaways every single month if you wanted to purchase any personal services with me they are listed down below there's um personal tarot readings with me, rituals to manifest different areas of your life or multiple areas, um, whether it is, you know, protecting yourself, protecting your home, whether it's marriage, whether it's um, money, success, attraction, um, love, for example, um, it's all listed down below, even the black magic energy removal and everything is on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com. There are also thousands of five-star reviews on the intention items, which are on my website, um, review sections at the bottom of my website, and there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, um, there's also sage bundles, there's candles, there's teas, um, really, really special as well. These are safety tested, thought I'd just mention that, and plant-based. Um, so yeah, <laughs> everything's always down below for you. All right, so think of your person and let's get some messages um, from your person. I'm just going to grab these cards. All right, let's begin. We have plenty of messages to be getting on with. So we have here the Fool. Mm-hmm. The Strength card. Let me just see if there are any connecting cards here because I'm looking for a very specific card. Okay, so if you notice something here, I've got a lot of yellow. Okay, all three of these are major arcanas. Now yellow represents the solar plexus chakra, as you can see here with my <laughs> a bit of yellow here. Solar plexus is the sun's energy. So it's solar, right? So the solar plexus chakra is responsible for self-confidence, self-esteem and self-worth. Now what's really interesting is that um, this person that you are visualizing is much stronger in their self-esteem and self-confidence and they feel um, a lot happier within themselves. And because they feel happier within themselves, they are much more aligned also to themselves they feel you know of course solar plexus chakra is really strong now what's really interesting is that they see you as someone who is really strong they see you as someone really kind and giving it's interesting because the more aligned they are to themselves the more aligned they are to you and actually understanding you rather than misunderstanding you so what i see here um, is there is a really powerful energy of them feeling you know a lot of love towards you and really just feeling like you are such a kind and generous and giving and just such a nurturing person they feel very very connected to you. They also feel like you are strong, you are generous, you are genuine, you are very committed, you are just so loving. And they also feel like you are the kind of person who is just so, you know, you get on with things. You don't make problems, you make peace, you you love to do things and be independent and you know what you want in life and they find that so attractive, okay? Mark my words, right now, they find you extremely, 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 extremely attractive. And they just really like that. They see you as positive. They see you as a ray of sunshine. They see you as someone who is just so bright, you know, bright. Like you lead the way. You are the light in their life. Whoa. Okay. Now, I would show you all of these, but, you know, these are all predominantly blue. I mean, apart from this one, this one goes from yellow to blue. You're probably thinking, why are you paying attention so much to color today? I'm like, well, the color has importance in this reading. It really does. Um, I don't remember the last time I did a reading where I paid so much attention to the color, but it's, it's here. And you see here, it goes from yellow to blue, even in this card. All of these are predominantly they're predominantly blue, okay? Now, blue is the throat chakra. They clearly, clearly, clearly want to talk to you. They clearly want to say something to you. And that's really interesting because, you know, Seven of Cups here shows they've thought so much about you. They really like you. They like pretty much everything about you. And, you know, they've been very low in their self-esteem and self-confidence in the past. And so they always felt like, oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, you know, I, I, I don't think we will, you know, be good, good together and things like that. They've always kind of made, let's say, excuses and not really been ready. But now, you know, we look here 
the seven of cups and they feel like oh wait a second like you are everything i have wanted but i better tell you that before it's too late you know they even compare you to other people that they've known and they realize that nobody compares to you no one is like you and you know the three of cups here is them thinking like wow you have so much to give you are so kind you are so caring you are so um generous and you know that that's really powerful because they see that you are so stable and that's what they want they see you as the kind of person they want in their life they see you as a an example. They see you as a role model towards others. They see you as someone who has this ability to really have so much stability that even they have been craving, you know, and I think as they have gone through the days, they have realized that, you know, people around them are nowhere near as good enough for um, them in comparison to how you are for them in compatibility terms. That probably made no sense, but <laughs> let me explain that again. So, they compare you to other people in terms of compatibility and they feel like, okay, I don't really get along with those people I used to, but I don't really more anymore. The same way here, they think, wow, like we get on really, really well. And they compare you to those people, not because they are trying to compare the kind of person you are, but more so comparing how the two of you are together versus how they are with their friends or other people that they have known, okay? So clearly they like you. Okay, seven of pentacles, they think about you a lot more than you might recognize. I mean, the sevens are really about reflection, so they reflect a lot in regards to what you mean to them. And you've also got the high priestess, they feel like you are just so knowledgeable, you are so smart, you are so intellectual. This isn't just all book smart energy, this is actually about, you know, emotional intelligence, understanding human values they feel like you are very very intelligent i mean yes i do feel like you're intelligent in other ways as well <laughs> like you know you can be academically intelligent um or maybe you are very good at you know things <laughs> that are more considered traditional types of intelligence but um you know they, they just feel like you are spiritually and emotionally and mentally just such a wonderful person that is for sure and then we've got the hermit Okay, so they clearly think about you. I don't feel like they're telling you everything that they think. I really don't. I, I feel like they keep this to themselves for the time being so that they can make their own conclusions. They can draw their own conclusions without getting too scared. And then basically with the um, King of Swords here and the King of Cups here, they will come forward and express their feelings to you. Hmm. See, because King of Swords is about... I know what I want. I know what I'm going to do. I know that I want you. And the King of Cups is like, I want to be with you. I love you. I care about you. I want to move things along with you. So this is decisive in so many ways because this is about speaking up. This is about emotionally communicating. That's very important. Very, very important. So having those two kings is defining. So this is defining. And that is your affirmation. Okay, so if this reading already resonates with you, that's your reading um, affirmation. So comment it down below. This is defining. <laughs> okay, so I am going to continue here. Nine of Cups. Theatrical, but also beautiful because this is their wish. Like they wish to be with someone like you and now they realize that that person is literally in front of them. They might want to do something about it. Otherwise they could lose the person altogether. That's not something, that's not what they want to do, right? So... They know that you are really the right person for them. There you go. I don't know how much blue and yellow we have in this reading, but blue and yellow, if I could magically change the colour of the wall to blue and something else to yellow, it's, it's the reading. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Okay, anyways, so the star card here is that they want to make things happen. They want things to come together. They want things to transform, for things to progress, for things to move forward. That's what they want. And then I'm going to get some message cards out as well. There you go. King of Pentacles. Ha, ah, more yellow. Okay, so King of Pentacles is them knowing that you are the person that they, they want in their life. You know, they, they like that you are stable. They like everything about you. They like your values, your attitude, your energy. They want to be with you. Okay. So we go now to some message cards. Hmm. Where should I go? Let's go here. These ones. This is really hard for me, but I don't show it. <laughs> I did mention that, didn't I, with the um with the hermit. 
they keep all of this to themselves. They're not showing it. They're not telling you. You know, it's it's really hard for them for sure. But they're not they're not exactly showing it. Um, you might think, oh, whatever. They probably don't even care because they're not saying anything, right? You you could literally assume that, but it is hard for them. I'm trying to protect you. Um, they don't want to build up high expectations and high hope. And what I mean by that is that they don't want to build up an expectation in you by doing so much right now and saying so much right now when they're a bit still trying to figure things out, you know? So they don't want to raise up your expectations. So if they're not really doing a lot towards you and they're kind of like holding back, that's why. Okay, like they're trying to also not do so much towards you that you then get really attached and then they're still feeling a bit all over the place, you know? They want to come forward towards you and they're like fully, fully ready. And we've got, I will call you. So they will call you, okay? They will call you. And this is defining and that is your affirmation for this reading. So if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out the description box below um, for information on, you know, free reading giveaway, intention items, uh, services, TikTok and Instagram. I post short readings on there every single day. Do follow me on there if you wanted to. Um, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.